Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so excited for this video. This is going to be a cumulative thrift outlet haul over the last couple of weeks. This is several trips to the Goodwill outlet and it is extra special because I made one trip to the Austin Goodwill bins in Austin, Texas. I do, if you're new to my channel, I do live here in Houston. And so it was extra special to be able to go to Austin. Um, we were visiting some friends and on our way back into town, I had to stop. I was there for about an hour and a half and I actually got to meet Clarissa from Thriving Thrifters. She actually found this shirt for me, which is so cute. It's definitely me in a t-shirt. So thanks Clarissa, so nice to meet you. If you guys are not subscribed to her channel yet, it is Thriving Thrifters. I would highly suggest you go over and subscribe, check out her thrift hauls. I love seeing what she finds in the Austin bins. Here in Houston, we did not have any Goodwill outlet locations until I would say two or three years ago. It was pretty recent. And now we have five locations. But before that, I would have to drive to Austin, Texas to shop the outlet. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get into it. I do want to give a disclaimer. There is some construction going on next door, so I apologize if you guys can hear that. I hope it's not too distracting. And it sounds like someone just started mowing their lawn. So we have all types of beautiful background noise going on today. Jumping into Austin stuff. So I only found one pair of shoes in Austin and they are Corky's leather booties. I love finding Corky's. The brand sells so well for me. Actually, these are Corks by Corky's, which I'm not sure if that's like a lower end kind of thing or if that's just like abbreviated. I'll look into that. They do seem pretty high quality though. It's a stacked heel and back leather upper size nine okay now into the clothing from austin first off is this little madewell hat super cute size medium large this actually had a black ribbon around it originally but someone took it off that's okay though i'm still going to list it um, because it will sell fine this is you know prime time right now spring summer next one scarf this already, you get that kind of artsy vibe here with, it's almost like a watercolor kind of print, but if you look at it long enough, you can see that there are buildings, or it's like a town print within the print, so really cool, lightweight. I thought they were nice spring colors. Actually, you know, even though this hat is missing its ribbon, you could even tie like just a scarf around the hat and then just do, you know, like a basic, is that too much? Yeah, that's a little much for it, but <laughs> you get the idea. Something a little bit less bulky than this and it would still be cute. Okay, moving on to my best fine this was so exciting it was very hot in there and i was tired we had already spent all weekend out in austin running around you know doing fun stuff and i was kind of just ready to leave honestly i didn't really feel like shopping but something told me just stay for a little bit look around you love the austin bins and i ended up finding this i was so happy i gave myself that little pep talk this is bia from johnny was it's a line within the brand and the bia stuff is like extra heavily embroidered and boho guys this thing is gorgeous so this is the front it's a hooded fully embroidered cardigan here's the sleeve it's open front long line almost duster length in amazing condition this thing is gorgeous i just saw it it was in a new rotation and i spotted the embroidery i flew over to it quickly picked it up i mean so pretty and I mean, it's, it's in flawless condition, size extra small. So I will probably list this for 
maybe like 200 to 250 dollars just because it is so heavily embroidered and it probably retail for around i'm not sure maybe like 400 500 ish i need to do some more research i haven't sold anything quite that exquisite from johnny was before so so excited about that next another great find we have cp shades an excellent bolo brand for you guys to keep an eye out for this is sometimes this brand sometimes collaborates with free people it's just a very expensive high quality kind of lag and look brand this is a linen button down blazer jacket i think this exact style from cp shades is very popular it has a specific name it's escaping me right now but really pretty the seasonality is right on point for this yeah shell is linen lining is cotton size medium excellent condition this will probably sell for 50 to 65 ish okay next we have anthropology this is pilcro and the letterpress how cute is this little kind of denim chambray puffer vest this is the back and it snaps down snaps and zips down in front so here are the snaps if you're curious it's lined really soft lining size medium this uh, I got this because it's very Y2K, so I will add Y2K, 90s, vintage, boho grunge kind of keywords, sweet pea. I think this brand used to sell really well a while ago, like I think it retailed for quite a bit. I don't think it's still in production, but this very uh, flattering gauzy material is pretty in demand. And I thought the print was cute. I might model this, but I could see that selling for around 30-ish. Another fun piece. This is a Journey band tee. This looks like it was never worn. It's in really good condition in a size 3XL. 100% cotton tie-dye. So cute. This is in an older bin. Just fold it up at the bottom. How cute are these? So they're a high rise short with pleating in front and an oversized tortoise shell button closure in like a pinstripe seersucker print or fabric. Those are faux pockets. Oh no, they're real pockets. They're just still sewn shut. So that's nice. They do look like brand new. So I would very much so believe that. Yeah, 55% linen, 45% cotton. You still have the extra button there. Super cute. I'll expect maybe 28-ish from those. We have a piece for my men's closet. This is an ASOS size 34 plaid blazer jacket. You could wear this with like khaki pants to a summer wedding. It's not... Uh, like heavy weight or anything and it still has the extra buttons so yeah I just grabbed that I was only there for about an hour and a half so I was just kind of shoving things into the one Ikea bag I had I was so glad I remembered an Ikea bag and I didn't sort anything I just shoved it all in a bag checked out it is cheaper in Austin per pound I want to say it was a dollar 47 and here in Houston it's $2.19 per pound. So quite the difference. I only paid $35 for all this stuff, which was insane. Next, this is a super cute maxi dress with a side slits, side slits on both sides, neutral, earthy kind of tie dye print. I've actually sold a dress very similar to this in the past. It's a soft stretch jersey knit. It has pockets, which we love. Size medium. Yeah, spandex and rayon. A pair of Zara jeans. I always keep my eye out for the newer Zara tag, which this is. These are a size zero. They're a button fly, which a lot of people like. The button fly there. High rise. Kind of a charcoal color these look so tiny and then the bottom hem is frayed so 
have like a 90s mom vibe going on. Another piece for my men's closet. This was an excellent find. Etro. This is a designer brand. Made in Italy. 100% cashmere cable knit sweater vest. Just a gray color. Closet staple. No holes. No pilling. In excellent condition. I'll expect that to sell for 50 to 75 ish. I got this mainly based on style and fabric. It's just artisan NY, but it's 100% linen and it has embroidery. So, this is a great springtime dress with some little sandals or espadrilles. Floral. Is that floral? No. It's just kind of like an abstract print or embroidery. It's all embroidered and it does zip down and back. Next, I got this because it was a size 1X and again, I just thought it would be a nice kind of summer, warmer weather layer. It is a little bit heavier, but um, it's good for transitional weather, so you could even wear this going into fall time. It's like a utility denim utility jacket, which you don't see every day, and I think it's just a really cute style. You have the drawstring waist and lots of pockets. It zips as well as snaps closed. And with it being a 1X in excellent condition, I had to grab it. I'm not sure what this brand is. It does not look super expensive or anything. This was another really good find. De Seagal. I have gotten pickier with this brand. It's a Spanish brand. They make really high quality stuff um, and this is definitely no exception. It's a long line tunic sweater vest with floral embroidery kind of mid chest so cute and then this almost like fair isle orange print at the bottom hem i thought i saw a flaw but no this has no flaws oh and then the de Seagal logo in back this is kind of interesting so the tag at the neck says composition 100 percent wool but then the tag at the bottom hem says acrylic nylon wool and mohair so I'm not sure. It definitely does feel like it has mohair in it, so I will be sure to mention that. It's a size small, handcrafted. More linen. These are Chico's. I've been loving selling Chico's. These look brand new, never worn. They're a size one crop. 100% linen, just little pull-on cropped pants. Great for summertime once again elastic in back with little pockets so cute and then they have a little roll up hem at the bottom another kind of artsy funky piece here this is the kind of stuff that you find in austin blank london which is an anthropology brand size small printed turtleneck long sleeve blouse top with this smocked neck. How cute is this? I love this. It also has smocking at the wrists in kind of like an abstract plaid print. So I'll expect maybe 30, 35 ish from that. I got this, the brand tag meant nothing to me. I'm not sure what that says, Sangam, but it's a size small. It was 100% cotton. I got it because of the fabric and the cut. It's very lagging look. I also liked this texture a lot. It's very earthy and boho. You have some pretty buttons, like oversized buttons. No flaws with two patch pockets in front. This was a piece I just kind of threw into my cart. I like to keep closet fillers and bundle items in my Poshmark closet. This is one state. I think it's sold at Nordstrom or maybe, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's sold at Nordstrom. It's a reptile print v-neck blouse with pretty sleeves. It's a sheer sleeve and then the bodice 
is lined. Another pickup for my men's closet. I've been keeping my eyes peeled for Hawaiian shirts. People are going on vacation. They are traveling to warmer weather and they want some cool shirts for that reason. This is Cook Street Honolulu. I looked this brand up. It looks like it does sell pretty well. This was in a size extra large, 100% cotton. I liked this print a lot. So yeah, I'll expect maybe 35-ish from this. Next up we have what I think is a handmade dress. It's a little vintage floral inspired handmade dress. The neckline is really pretty. It's kind of squared off a bit. Then you have some pleating towards the skirt portion. I just figured I could add a ton of keywords into this like cottagecore, boho, prairie. It does look really well made. Has a side zip, right? Yeah, side zip. No tags whatsoever. It also has these little elastic straps tucked inside the sleeve so i'm not sure maybe just you have the little elastic straps here and then the sleeves kind of go off shoulder a bit this is a 100 percent wool made in ireland sweater um, i have sold this brand in the past i believe i'm always on the hunt for made in ireland wool or cashmere type items just because they are a bit higher quality and people really like them they search for them this is a hooded long line zip front sweater jacket coat and this is the logo for the brand so really cool okay second to last item from austin is this chico's size 2 100 percent linen once again little tie-dye button front sleeveless top. I actually found this with the cream linen capri pants and this also looks unworn. The buttons are a mother of pearl which is always so pretty in my opinion. And our very last item from Austin. This is another piece from my men's closet. It's from Horny Toad which is now Toad and Company. So this is an older piece but still really nice it's a button down shirt i need to wash it it has some surface stuff on it but yeah i think this will be like a 25 dollar sale in my men's closet okay so that was everything that i found on my austin trip i was so excited to be able to get to go even for just a little bit now we will move into my houston finds i forget i know i have 70 items in this whole haul and I said I had 23 for Austin so right around 50 items um, from Houston that I found the last couple weeks starting off with shoes we have Steve Madden this is a tried and true style and brand for me to sell in shoes um, I think are these the bruiser boots I have sold so many pairs of Steve Madden boots very similar to this for around that $50 mark size 10 I'm not sure the style on these but I'm confident those will go for 40 to $50 pretty quickly next we have Skechers and these I'm expecting maybe at least 50 on these possibly 60 ish they are 90s Y2K chunky leather closed toe slip-on shoes Anything from Skechers that is genuinely from the 90s and has a chunky sole with a leather upper seems to sell incredibly well. Uh, these are a size 8. Next we have Free People. So excited to find these. Strappy, peep toe, heeled, kind of booty shoe sandal I think some people call these a shooty <laughs> uh, size 39 leather everywhere bottom sole I will show you the brand name free people I do have my shoe inserts in them which definitely does just make them way more presentable for pictures I do have these linked down below if you're curious I got them from Amazon okay next is a pair of Vince 
little flats. These are not in the best of condition. They just have some spots to the leather. They're not super noticeable though, so I did still get them just because, I don't know, I couldn't leave them. They're such high quality shoes. This leather is so soft and supple. I think someone will still want them, even if I sell them for 25. They're a size five and a half. Really pretty, just leather flats. Hunter, I think these are called the Play Clogs. And they do have what I believe is called Bloom to the rubber upper. Um, I have already wiped them down with olive oil once, but I will do it again. It might take a couple times. But these, if I get them cleaned up, should go for 35 to 40-ish. They're not in bad condition otherwise. So yeah, and I feel like someone might not even care too much about that because they're meant to be worn outside. Next we have Halogen, which is a Nordstrom house brand. I definitely don't always get this brand, but these were a genuine leather mule, slip on mule heels, and they were in really good shape. They have these stacked heel and back, kind of like an almond toe, really minimalist, contemporary size 10. And lastly for shoes, these are H by Halston braided strappy heeled sandals really pretty they are leather kind of a crisscross upper with a peep toe i mean so pretty with like dresses and stuff for summertime they are in really good condition they're the penelope shoe in a size eight and a half okay getting into my clothing finds from houston first off we have this adorable little poncho wrap lightweight cardigan sweater <laughs> piece with some butterflies this honestly gave me farm rio vibes with the print and colors it's very vibrant and then has little tassels at the bottom hem adorable for summer i'll say it a million times the brand is do everything in love and i know that this brand has sold a couple items at free people it does seem to be pretty good quality so i have picked up several other items next same kind of thing here a poncho type lightweight layering piece so this is a very neutral color palette with a fringe trim really pretty does have armholes and then this is the back it's just one size i believe banana republic size large knit halter tank top with braided trim so cute this is very 90s y2k-esque with some high-waisted mom jeans or shorts Free People, this is a tried and true, just kind of bread and butter pickup. It's a crochet detail, little Henley long sleeve in a size large. I've actually sold this in the past in the orange color. It's called the Gold Coast Thermal or Henley. And that should sell, I would guess for 28 to 30 ish. This I got based on style and size and condition. It's the brand is just SR Fashion, but it was a size large. And this is embroidery, it's not just printed. This floral design, cute little tassels at the sleeves, and it's a maxi length dress. So, really pretty. Beachy pants here. These were sold on QVC, Naturals D and Co, size 3X. So I got them for the size and the style and material. They are a linen blend. I do love the earth tones in the stripe. How cute would these be with a beach hat and little like linen tank top with some sandals. That is definitely a vibe. <laughs> I will add beachy boho festival linen summer 
all kinds of stuff into the title and description next up we have ryu i have sold this brand a couple times in the past it does okay it's a great kind of bundle item closet filler and i got this because it's a size extra large it's a loose knit crochet lace trim sweater tunic dress these i thought were kind of consistent again with the 90s y2k trend Lackays is the brand small medium 95 percent organic cotton five percent spandex made in nepal how fun is this tie-dye print so i will say flare yoga pants in the title and description because i think that's what the younger crowd is calling like flared leggings oh no they're calling them flared leggings but they're just like yoga pants i forget i don't think i ever called them a technical name so i don't know uh what you know what the difference is but i will look it up and be sure to include that i just thought the tie-dye print was really cool and they are good quality with the organic cotton very soft and stretchy so i was excited to find this you guys know i love selling soft surroundings and this is definitely a bit more of a substantial piece from the brand it's very artsy it has some contrasting stripes and then rectangle buttons all the way down the front and the back so very cool kind of lag and look vibe there more bread and butter these are american eagle but they are the newer tag so i wanted to get them i do keep my eye out for the newer tag size two button fly pants well you can imagine <laughs> them buttoned but they are very cute they're a high rise kind of cropped fit in an army green color um G size large i do like to get this brand as well as altered state if it's like an especially cute piece um, because they do elevate bundle sales for me this is very boho print i think free people has a piece that is exactly the same style as this so um, this is just maybe the more affordable version of that another great find these are judy blue new attacks this brand definitely does have a following these are a size 22w which is great and they have lots of manufactured distressing whiskering bleach spots and they're new so we love that i think these retail for around 60 dollars, so they'll probably end up selling for around 35 ish I've never found intermix before and I actually found two pieces in this haul. So this is the first really adorable little crochet spaghetti strap knit. I guess maybe not crochet. Well, yeah, you definitely have that around the neckline, but really cute. I love the rust color, more boho um so i got this this is just the brand it's like a vintage piece i think extra point by reference point but it's a size 3x and it's a open crochet knit vest with a floral design so how cool is this this would be so neat to wear just like a white tunic top underneath and then have this over so the floral crochet knit really pops you can see it better there um, and it's long line very beachy boho next up new attacks j crew size medium a genuine wrap top even though this is more of a basic from j crew i did want to get it because it's a genuine wrap which people do seem to especially like. This is a vintage pickup. It's a floral, I guess specifically sunflower printed maxi dress. There is the print there. It has a waist tie and then it does button down 
all the way in front. So super cute. We'll add cottage core, prairie, boho, granny, granny core, more soft surroundings, tie dye, v neck, t shirt top, long line, high low hemline. This is a mixed media piece, so it has a really soft, stretchy cotton base, and then this rayon semi sheer insert. So that adds a little bit extra interest to it. This is funny, I actually found this exact cardigan a few weeks ago and then I found it again in a size medium. This is soft surroundings. It's a fuzzy leopard print long line cardigan, really soft and cozy. Girls with Curves collaborating with Lane Bryant. I found a lot of plus size pants in this haul, which I was very happy about. These are a size 24 and they're a nice kind of charcoal color. They have some fading, whiskering, just a great kind of closet wardrobe staple there. More pants. <laughs> Newer tag theory. I'm a little bit pickier with theory, but when it's the newer tag, I do tend to get it, especially at the outlets. These are a size eight, like an oxblood colored velvet high rise pants, like a cigarette leg. And these are, they look like they were never worn. They zip in back. A skirt so I saw that this was the newer tag from J Jill a lot of brands are coming out with newer tags and the difference is extremely subtle it's just something about the print I don't think I have any other J Jill in this haul but I will put a picture on the screen of the older tag in comparison to this newer tag so it is not very much of a difference but it is there. When you see so many tags every day, I spot the difference, but I could see how it could be hard. So this is a size large uh, midi skirt in a paisley print. And something about it just really spoke to me. I think it's the like boho earth tone paisley print. Um, and this was still selling online. I think this paisley print sold out but they did have like a bandana print still available um, but it's 100% rayon very lightweight for summertime speaking of summer we have a quintessential summer layering cardigan by Torrid size 2x it's a beachy blue tie-dye a little bit longer length so adorable this would be so cute. Again, I will reference back to my beach hat with some like distressed shorts and a white tank top with a little beach hat, some sandals, adorable. This is a cool find. It's a genuine vintage dress, very mod, and it's floral, very vibrant red floral print with this oversized exposed gold zipper in front. This is the vintage tag. So I will look this up on vintagefashionguild.org to see if I can date the tag. It looks like 60s or 70s to me. So pretty. And then when you unzip it, you have a polka dot contrast polka dot lining. So, I mean, this is very cool. I always find really neat stuff like this at the outlet, it seems like. I think regular Goodwill stores um, don't really know what it is, maybe. They think it's a little too obtuse or something, so they just send it off to the outlet, which I have no problem with. Okay, our, like I was saying, I found, this is the second Intermix piece that I found, and this is so pretty. It's the Carissa blouse very feminine and flattering it's a silk blend blouse and this you can actually you could tie it around your neck if you wanted to or you could just leave it hanging it's a self tie 
very pretty kind of delicate sleeves here fully lined elastic at the bottom hem these are Ashley Stewart. I don't typically pick up this brand, but I did like the style of these. I think Reformation has a pant very similar to these with the patchwork design. So I thought it was cool finding these in a plus size. They are size 22. Just lots of mixed denims. And these were in excellent condition. So really neat. They definitely make a statement. Same for this, I would say. I would have to say this makes a little bit of a statement. I think, is this a St. Bernard? I feel like it is. I could be wrong though. Let me know. This is The Mountain. I do like picking this brand up for my men's closet. This is a size extra large. I got this mainly because it was in excellent condition and I think this is a popular uh, breed that breed of dog that people own. <laughs> okay, next, this I found, um, I was just kind of flipping through the dress aisle and something about it just kind of caught my eye. Um, I'm not sure what, because it is pretty plain and basic, but it didn't have any tag at the neckline and then I saw the interior tag immediately recognized it as free people it might be kind of hard to see and read but this is definitely a free people tag it also has the RN66170 which is unique to free people urban outfitters and anthropology so I will try to find stock pictures of this to see if I can try to find any more information about it. Next we have more Torrid, size 3X. These are a super cute tie waist striped pant. Let me tie the waist here. And these are, the style name of these given by Torrid is like the chalice striped pant. They use that keyword quite a bit for items that are made out of rayon. So I do tend to include it because I know people search for specific items from Torrid. So you do want to have the exact style name in your listing. And Torrid actually makes it super easy because they give you all the information on the tag. So if I wanted to find the exact style name of these pants, I would type, I would go to Google, type in Torrid and then this item number right here. And click enter and these pants will pop right up. You have stock photos, the description, everything. Okay, this was too cute to leave behind. It's just Olivia Sky, which is a boutique kind of brand. But how cute. It's a color block, two-tone, button-down cardigan sweater with oversized tortoiseshell buttons. I just thought this was adorable. I could not leave it for $2. And this kind of stuff honestly usually sells the fastest for me. Just um, like a great kind of style piece, even if it's not, you know, a big name brand or anything. Sweet Jessie, we have a vintage dress. I got this because it's a size extra large. It's 100% linen, it's maxi length, and it has a very earthy kind of natural print. I don't think it's floral, maybe it is floral. It's almost just like a vine kind of print. It does have, I saw a pocket somewhere. Yeah, it has slip-in pockets at the hips almost, I think. And it goes to the floor, so. But this being 100% linen, I mean, it's great quality. Um, I did include keywords like modest in this listing, uh, cottagecore, boho, prairie, 90s, Y2K. I think people from the younger crowd are wearing dresses like this with like a black t-shirt underneath and then chunky Doc Martin shoes. Um, but you know, it could also be worn a variety of ways. More pants. These are Chico's, Nua Tags. 
They are size 16 regular or Chico size 3R jeggings. Just a basic black jegging, great closet staple. And since I showed those, I will show these. These are very similar. They are also new attacks, Chico size 3R or 16. Um, and these are the Bridget Slim Leg Slimming Pant with a coated polka dot print. So these are cute, honestly, seem very comfy. I found these next to each other, so I think someone donated both of them. Another fun plus size pickup. I found so much plus size on these trips. I was so happy about it. This brand is just One World, but it's 3X, very boho, long dress with new attacks. So, love it. Festival, boho, prairie, um, summer, beachy. This is Tahari 100% linen. I've said it so many times, but I love finding good materials from Tahari. Size small, little polka dot printed mini skirt with a ruffle hem and pull on elastic waist. This does have pockets. More pants. How cool are these? They're Michael by Michael Kors, size 12, wool, plaid, wide leg pants. So I am going to add a ton of keywords into this listing. Academia, dark academia, 90s, plaid, Y2K, school uniform, um, I just feel like you could do so much with these preppy. So yeah, and they have the little button over the waist. We have Madewell, size extra, extra small, although this is definitely oversized. This sweater, I was flipping through the bin. I knew exactly when I touched it what it was. It's their coziest yarn material, which is an alpaca blend, and there's nothing else like it. It's very soft and cozy. And how cute is this? Kind of colorful striped front so this i got for several reasons i didn't recognize the tag chi by falchi i'm not sure but i really liked the neutral reptile kind of snake skin printed print um and i could tell that it was plus size so it does measure like a 2x as well as the fabric content. So it's 85% silk, 15% cashmere. So definitely a nicer quality piece here. Couldn't leave that at the bins. And we are down to our final two items. This is altered state, size extra small. That will focus, there we go. Little V-neck button front dress with a ruffle hem and a striped print, so cute. Again, with the tortoise shell buttons, maybe not. Well, they're kind of tortoise shell, but really cute nonetheless. And our very last item, the mower has started yet again. <laughs> it's a good time to end here. Our very last item is for Cynthia. I got these because they're a size 2X, and they're a linen blend with again that very beachy boho wide leg print elastic waist with the drawstring they have pockets so that is absolutely it for this huge cumulative thrift outlet haul i hope you guys enjoyed if you did enjoy please feel free to leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see y'all soon bye guys